Based on the stories we do, in so many cases, especially I think about uh, my good bud, uh, author, uh, crime writer, Mike McIntyre. I mean, every time Mike McIntyre tells us what happened after the gavel came down and what the sentence was or what the sentence really wasn't, um, everybody is calling in saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, we've got to elect judges, we've got to get more involved. And I guess the larger point here is that the public does not trust the people who are making the decisions. They don't like the people who are prosecutors. They don't like the deals the prosecution is doing with the defense. They sometimes feel the the prosecutors are just trying to slide things through as quickly as possible because they don't want to go forward with trials. Uh, They also get the impression that the authorities don't have any jail space or say they don't. And so in order to avoid jail, to do anything to avoid jail, all kinds of deals are done. And where does this leave uh, justice and the justice system and confidence in the justice system? Well, it leaves it right in the ditch. So the idea of people getting highly involved to make the important decisions on where the bad guys go or don't go, um, I think the public would be very much in favor of it. Uh, there are some traditionalists who will say that this is much, much, much too, too radical. But I'm sure if we open up the lines on this one, as someday we no doubt will, a lot of members of the public will call in and go, yeah, attaboy, that's exactly what Canada should be doing. I think uh, people will use both their hearts and their heads, and I'm no different from Mike McIntyre. I think I trust the hearts and heads of the Canadian people. 